Hey y'all, Lady Ryu here, bringing you a t-shirt tutorial. So come make a unicorn t-shirt with me. Okay, for this project, you'll need a t-shirt or a tank top, an image. I drew this myself and I just scanned it into my computer. Um, you can even go online and find coloring book, free coloring book pages and print them and color it and scan it yourself if you like or color them on the computer. Um, you will need t-shirt transfer paper. You can get this on Amazon. I'll include the link in the description box. I got the one for dark t-shirts because I'm obviously putting this on a dark t-shirt. If you're using like a lighter color t-shirt, like a pastel color or a white t-shirt, you'll want the one for light um, fabrics. Um, these also work for light fabrics too. Um, it's just whatever you prefer. Uh, you'll need an exacto knife, a cutting mat to cut out your image, and a piece of parchment paper. And you'll need an iron. This is my iron. I named him Preston. And an ironing board. Okay, I'm going to do this very quickly. Um, I'm a faulty power cord. So I just scanned this image on my computer and I opened it up in paint. I'm going to go up here to file and click print preview. Make sure it looks okay. I'm going to put my page setup on portrait. Click okay. Looks good. Now the paper is here. Um, this side is the back and obviously this side is the front. So you just have to um, turn on your printer <laughs> and just put it in like normal paper. You don't have to reverse the image or anything, which is kind of cool. And we'll just print it. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Get it all warmed up. Now you're just going to go and click the print button and hit print and then let it do its thing. It's printing, looks good so far. Make sure your ink has print, yes, um, make sure your printer has ink. Looks pretty good. And we're done. Okay, we're ready to cut out our image. You'll need your exacto knife for this. And you can see part of the G got cut off. So I'm just gonna take, you can use a Sharpie or a regular ink pen, just trace it. You're basically just going to cut out your image very carefully. Um, you can cut out the insides of the letters. It's white, so it'll obviously show up white on the t-shirt. So, you're just going to cut it out. Get as close as possible to the edges of the letters. Okay, so I didn't like the way my original writing looked, so I actually just typed one up. I'm just gonna cut it out and add it on the bottom. So when you're done cutting out all your pieces, I'm just gonna peel the paper off the back and arrange it on your t-shirt. Be careful when you do this. <laughs> Just peel off all of the paper off the back. Okay, you're gonna peel all the pieces off the back and arrange it on your t-shirt or not your t-shirt or tank top on the ironing board. And you're going to make sure that you have a dry iron. Uh, there's no water, so make sure the steam feature is turned off. 
save in just a second. Okay, I had it arranged <laughs> there we went. That looks cool actually. So it's on steam right now, so I'm gonna turn it on to off. And this is a um spandex knit, so I don't want the highest temperature, but I know I don't want no I don't want any steam. So I'm just gonna put it probably on silk and acrylic. Okay, now you're gonna turn it on, let it warm up, get your piece of parchment paper, and carefully, it's gonna curl, carefully lay it on top of your image. Doing this with one hand, bear with me. Okay, sorry, it's a little crazy. See, you can still see it, beautiful. Then you're just going to take it and carefully press it on. You may have to do this two or three times. Um, I like to do one good one at first and then let it sit and cool and then test it. Um, I've had issues before where the image will stick to the back of the parchment paper so you just have to let it cool before you carefully peel it off of there okay. so I'm going to carefully peel this off that's good double check it make sure your image is on there fully it actually looks really cute so um, you can also let this cool flip it on the opposite side and press it too um, but this looks like it took pretty well. So, just gonna wrap this up. Like, share, subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for part two.